If you don't repent, drive away the spirit. So, if we don't believe, even the Bible says, but we don't believe, we don't obey. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Ano mong na naman yung blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? Yeah, when we don't obey the Holy Spirit, ah, when we don't repent, that is the unpardonable sin, right? The Holy Spirit tells us to repent, and it tells us, tells us, tells us, but we don't repent, then we don't listen to the Holy Spirit anymore. And when, stop, when we stop listening, then how can we repent? But as long as nakoconsensya tayo, there is hope. Yeah? Secondary concerns? Oh! There is a primary concern, and there is a secondary concern. Diba sabi ni P, sabi ng disciples, Lord, look ka pumunta sa Jerusalem. Sabi ni Jesus, ano, get me behind me. So, there is secondary concern, and pride and self-reliance. Yan, this is the real problem. This is Satan's problem. He became pride, proud, and then everything else, sin, retaliatory and critical spirit. Hawa, huwag talang yoganti. Sabi, Bible says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Yeah. If somebody does you something bad to you, don't, I know, retaliate. You just complain to God, and God will, whatever God will do, whatever. But at least your hands are clean. Yeah? When we try to retaliate, our hands are dirty and it doesn't work. <laughs> but the pastor said it's better to keep quiet and you tell God what's the problem, and then God will uh, somehow. <clears throat> Teach the other people, uh, ano, a lesson so that they will be saved also. Pride and self-reliance, retaliatory spirit, and critical spirit. Okay. Why is the benefit of criti uh, criticizing people? Intense amusement. Oi, amusement. Nandiyan na. Okay, okay. Tara na, tara na. Unbelief. Why is God angry at the Israelites? Because they did not believe. Sabi kasi wag magluto. Okay, di ba? Exodus 16. Isaiah 63, but when they rebel, if you don't obey God, then you are rebelling. They vex His Holy Spirit. So when we don't obey, Holy Spirit will come? Of course not. Therefore, He was turned to be their enemy. Wow, grab it. And fought against them. God became the enemy of the Israelites. Wherefore, I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost which shall not be forgiven. Nako. Okay. Because how can we repent if we don't if we don't want like to be to follow the Holy Spirit? And Jesus answered him, For a good word is told you, but for blasphemy, because thou be a man makest thyself God. Okay. Blasphemy, they are defining blasphemy that we are thinking that we are better than God. <clears throat> And that from the child thou hast known that the Holy Scriptures is able to make device unto salvation to the faith which is in Jesus Christ. Wow! So how do we become wise? By knowing the Holy Scriptures. Wow! So blasphemy is not listening to God. Ito ang mga tindi. Medyo mahirap na itindihan. Let Christians put away all dissensions, give themselves to God for the saving of the lost. Wow! The goal is save lost. Let them ask in faith for the promised blessing, the Holy Spirit, and it will come. The promise of the Holy Spirit is a matter of little talk of, and the result is only what they might expect it. Spiritual drought. Because we don't talk about and ask for the Holy Spirit, then the Holy Spirit is of you only. <clears throat> Spiritual darkness, declension, and death. Minor matters! Aha! Ano yung minor matters? Yung sinasabi ni Ma'am kanina, nakasbura rin ano ng asin. Bakit kailangan pa bang pag-awayan yung asin? Minor matters. Let's talk about how to win souls. Not the asin and the small things. Small things lang yun. Kaya naman. Asin lang yun. Mura-mura ng asin. Ba't mag-divorce kayo sa asin? Yung asin mura. It's very so cheap. Those are minor matters. The small things. That the big things are the saving the saving souls. Minor matters occupy the attention. <laughs> Some pastor said. They are debating about the program. <laughs> What is the problem with the program? You sequence the program. Small things only, my friends. That's small things. Okay. Necessary for growth and prosperity of the church. When we pray for the correct things, it will bring big things to the church. Meron dyan, hindi nakakasulat dyan. Okay, it's okay. So, our time also belongs to God. Those who come late, ah, you are stealing. <laughs> Every moment is His. And we are under the most solemn obligation. Minsan, mas maaga pa tayo sa klase kaysa church. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Di ba? 
Bakit mas maaga pa yung tayo sa trabaho kaysa sa church? Every moment is His and we are under the most solemn obligation to improve it to His glory. Of no talent He has given, He will require a more strict account than our time. Okay, time also is pride. When I kept silence, my bones walked all through the roaring all day. Cast me not away from Thy presence. And take not the Holy Spirit. So let us be humble. We, why will we be humble? Because we don't know what to do. Yeah? We are lost. The people of God have accustomed themselves to think that they must rely on their own efforts and help. Little help is to be received in heaven and the rest is the result of the life communicated to souls who are dying in error and darkness. Yeah, dependence on ourselves. The church has long been contented with the little blessing 